Okay. I am so sorry for that delay. I hope everyone is still with me. But yeah, we are still, uh, unfortunately, just because the internet is tied to a generator here, I am li quite literally out in the woods on vacation, so uh, the generator restarted and so I lost ac internet access for a moment. We are back now, we're going to keep going, keep trying to finish the rest of the chapter. I would say he's significantly better than Arden, though. Uh, still, I, he definitely is not a great unit by any metric. Hopefully I can get him some kills on these axe wielders up here, because all these guys only have one range, so once I recruit Jamka, there's really no threat to him. And can everyone still hear me okay? Is everything still stable on the stream? Awesome, that's good to hear. Uh, what I was going to change uh, my final round... Bleh. Words. Change my final round a little bit. Alec is super strapped for cash. So I'm actually going to send him to go get this village down here. Right. Uh, can you guys confirm, is this one just money, or does this one have a ring in it? Yeah, they don't seem to be. Which is weird. Uh, the... The, uh, yes, that's just weird, uh, the, uh, chat box still should be working on OBS, uh, let me just reset that one real quick. Mm-hmm, 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 chat box settings, okay, yes, all that's right. Yeah. Okay, it may just be slow too. Uh, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing it on my stream manager. I'm seeing everything appear on OBS, and I'm not seeing it appear on the Twitch stream manager. So that might just be slow. Uh, I'm not really sure what the solution is for that. I don't want to re refresh that in case of it uh, kills the stream again. So we will just go without chat, and I'll just remember to read out things as needed. And we'll figure that out for the next stream. Talk. And somehow, Aideen had a return staff in her pocket the entire time. Uh, don't know where she got that from. Don't know where she couldn't have given that to us in the beginning, but, you know, you do what you can. And now we have the incredibly fun part. Uh, passing through, while passing through the forest is an important rite of passage for all sorts of uh, folklore events. They really went out of their way to make it as annoying as possible to do that. Oh crap! And I need to get Idean all the way into here to her jump cut. Which is going to be rough, given how slowly everyone moves through this forest. I wish they did not make the forest quite this dense. <laughs> uh huh. So much tactical ability with my two move units. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. That's also not good. So my microphone might be about to die, so we might actually have to end up calling this stream early. I just start giving me the warning sounds. And I don't want to use my inbuilt microphone on my computer, because that's obviously bad. 
uh, we will try and make do, but it just started giving me its low battery indication. A bit unlucky though. Um, okay, where can Jamka reach? Basically nowhere. Two, three, one, two. Okay, so if Dude moves to here, Azul can move as far as he can. And then we just slowly keep grinding away at this, trying to keep moving forward. I should have no problem getting pretty much everyone here, at least close to level 30 by the end of this, but yeah. We've got a long way to go before that happens, and I'm not sure if I want to turn this into a full Let's Play stream, set of streams. You guys let me know if you guys want that, uh, I'm certainly willing to, but uh, I don't know that I'll keep having interesting things to say in every single chapter, especially with how much gameplay there is going around it. So yeah, you guys just let me know as you, if you want to see more of this, uh, we will figure that out as we go. Obviously there's a long ways to go in this game. And actually, if it's okay with you guys, for the rest of this time I may turn off animations just to get through this faster. Hey, cool. I'm glad it fixed itself, and I was just being weird. I do not understand technology sometimes. I make my do my best. I pretend to be a professional at this. <laughs> but uh yeah, I don't understand what changed. I did nothing. Even the map animations are so good in this game. Oh, ha they have zero hit on so they're not attacking him. That's awkward. At least that means guaranteed money. But, oh my god, he levels up so slowly and does so little damage. <sighs> but we got an uh, no, that word. We got an Azel kill. HP and speed. He's getting a lot of speed, he's, which is actually really important for him, since fire is so heavy. And in this game, the calculation is just weight minus speed. Any point of speed means he's way more likely to double. His raw damage output is never really an issue, just because he, he hits on something that enemies have literally none of most of the time. So, he'll always do pretty good damage, it's just... The rest of it is a problem. Now, let's see some tasty lore. Saint Mera. In my day, there was this gorgeous girl living there called Sigan, the last her of Lashia's bloodline. Now, she's like Mera's granddaughter, so not really... It kind of makes sense with uh, there being this ban on having children. Uh, but... She's like, yeah. This ancient commandment is not even a century. It is 
curious that they uh, make this thing simultaneously seem very old, very far away, and then also incredibly recent. So yeah, that's about 18 years ago. And then, so 110 years since the Lapierre Empire fell. Sagan obviously probably wasn't that old, so yeah, she's probably Mero's granddaughter or great-granddaughter. How it got that far, with a apparently a command to not have children, is a mystery. But, you know, we this is one part of the game we just cannot question. You're already moneyless, right? And... Bonk. Okay. Or that can be a mess. Madeira should double this guy. Hope maybe we'll get lucky and get in a cost as well. Which would be m even more hits. Nope. No such luck. And we slowly press forward farther into the Spear Forest. Everyone has two move, and I hate it. I hate it so much. We'll get him out, I guess we'll have him out of Sigurd's range, even though that doesn't really make a difference. Now. Eh. I mean, these guys aren't dangerous to him, so whatever. And yeah, we there's that. Uh, Arden's gonna do nothing the rest of the stream, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And of course, he didn't go for Azel, he went for Kulin. What a nuisance. Ugh. I should not put Kuin this far forward. He is now in a lot of trouble, but eh. Say Levy, he got a level out of it, so it was completely worthwhile. He got another terrible level out of it. So this turn, I kind of, if I can, I, yeah, crap, I cannot actually manage that, so I guess I just need to just deal with that. Um, we probably need to fall back, because, uh, Jamka's, one, Jamka's scary, and two, Idina is still so far away from Jamka that... We're not going to be really able to take him on yet. <laughs> Found my only option. I guess I can have Lex eat the hit, because Lex is good at that. And then if Azel... If Azel moves... Uh, I like to move people in more than not, but still... Uh, no, you should... Okay. Yeah, keep track of where people are supposed to be. So it's this diagonal. Okay. So Noish needs to move one this way, one down. Finn moves one this way, one down. Sigurd moves like I don't know. There. And I think that pretty much works. Um, there we go. That should work almost well enough. Uh, and I didn't get to my levels.
And so yeah, this Spirit Forest, I mean, the translation even says it's the Spirit Forest of Folklore, and I think that's pretty close to what the Japanese was. I don't read Japanese, so I can't confirm that, but I think that was pretty close to where it was. And... I know, she gets such good levels. Uh, now, Kuin's gonna be really low on HP now. Uh, it's actually kind of dangerously low. Still survives, but not by a whole lot. Oh, he went from the air instead. Okay, that's fine. I am okay with this. And hopefully Jamco runs in to, to right there. That was exactly what I wanted him to be. Because Lex has a ton of defense, so I'm not too worried. Still was nearly bad, but no crits, no worries. And now that we did that, we have our very own Super Archer. Woohoo! And now, send them up. Yeah. So... We do have the machine gun. I will probably end up giving his killer bow to Madeir. Because it's better on Madeir, because it always is. But we can hand it, kind of just hand that around and have a party. The worst era is a good description. Era, but not nearly as reliable at getting kills. Uh, I have no enemy face to speak of. Luckily, this game I've not found... I mean, this game's actually pretty balanced. Like, where FE6 is super player phase oriented, and FE7 is super enemy... Uh, super enemy phase oriented, I found that this one's actually kind of balanced. It has a nice give and take to it, where it's not just send in a juggernaut and let them kill. Everyone needs to do something. And everyone can do something, but... Not too, uh, not too heavily focused on just tanking, sitting still and tanking uh, damage. Nice give and take, which is another thing of just the flow of the game in this is so good. Cool, and Aira sets up. Kills for other people that don't really need it. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, uh, I mean on the super casual playthrough, Jamka is just so much fun to use, because he has every double attack in the game. My dear! My boy! Such a good level! <laughs> and, let's see. Only one person can get to Idine, so we're going to show off the killer bow. And... Well, he got no crits, but he did at least manage something. Uh, Lex goes up this way. Everyone else slowly, so slowly pushes forward. There's nothing in- I mean, there's not even any danger here. The Spear Forest is just so atrociously slow. No one's at any risk, no one's going to get killed. Uh, I'm just waiting. Yeah, I think buff them by one. They still should be slower than cavalry. But cavalry shouldn't be so oppressive. Uh. Mm -hmm. 
This is irritating. Uh, luckily, Ideen can kind of just back off now. She's not super useful for the rest of the game, because we get Deirdre. Uh, or, the rest of the game, rest of this chapter, because we're about to get Deirdre. In fact, Kuin's probably also not super useful for the rest of this time. Uh, we will see. But I'm not expecting him to do a whole lot, so this may end up turning rapidly becoming just uh, swordsbound. And Sigurd, I mean, as much as I want to get kills on these uh, silver swords. It's getting there, uh, but it's not so good. Yeah, I don't know if I need everyone to have 7 move, because when armor... I mean... Like, Finn only has 8 move, so rank 1 cavalry only have... Uh, only have one more move than the foot units. That, I mean, in some ways that's probably good, uh, but also... Some, that actually really changes some of the math going on in the game, uh, specifically on when formations can get to you, and when uh, all sorts of bad things that result from having uh, basically. Uh, the easy way to balance that, rebalance that, is just to make the maps a little bit bigger, which means more empty space, which means more a whole lot of nothing going on. Because there are some formations where you don't have a whole lot of space between them. If they have extra move, uh, then suddenly you're in actually a really bad spot. Okay. Azel's actually going to manage to get another kill here, which is super cool. <laughs> exactly. Hey look, he got a soul proc. <laughs> what is the point of soul on do? Like, oh my god. Of all of the useless things that we could have done, they gave soul to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There is no way it would go badly. Yes, because he'll heal his one damage. <laughs> Ethlyn. Please. Just once. It's true. I am very excited for that sweet, sweet uh, lack assist promotion bonus. Because, oh man, is that juicy. I have always been a sucker for numbers go up lots. And no one does that better than that Prince Master Knight promotion. Oh boy. And as we continue on this slow, slow grind.
Yeah, I mean, there's no such thing as a bad promo bonus in FE4. <laughs> they are all super based. Uh, I mean, like, Azel's is also one of the best in the game. Because promoting, like Master Knight, obviously promoting into a horse is one of the best things you could possibly do. Now, we're slowly getting there, we're actually getting pretty close to the end of this chapter. Uh, nah, it's magic, it's rest. There's just another wave of forest to go through. And then we silence Sandama, and then... Hey look, he's got the names of Loki's son, or Loki's children. Yay! Another, just brother proof that Loft here was clearly interpreted as Loki. Which is very much following uh, almost all the discourse, uh, actually. At the, certainly in 96, uh, that was still very much the accepted interpretation. Since then, we backed off. Uh, in the 90s, it was changing, but before then, and in pretty much all the seminal work uh, in the 60s and 40s to 70s, Locked here was just kind of agreed to be Loki, and there still is quite a bit of evidence for that. Don't get me wrong. Uh, namely, that one of the stronger pieces is that the trio Loki, uh, Oven, and Heinier appears in a Faroese folk story, and so that tr and in uh, Hoistwang, uh, which is a medieval. Uh, a, what is it, 10th century poem? So, there is definitely, uh, it was the accepted interpretation. Since then, uh, people have backed off on it a bit, and it still is a subject of debate. But it's at least a thing that exists. Hey look, we get more cutscenes now. Spirit for, uh, Going into the woods on an initiation ritual, and then coming back out with, uh... All sorts of, uh, fun times. Oh, yeah. Uh, in this game, uh, that's something I did not talk about that I should have. In the lore of this game, Loftir is an earth dragon like the villain of Arcane of uh, Fire Emblem 1 and 3, uh, Medeus. This appears to occur before, like what happened with Medeus, uh, that they went completely insane. Cool. She's got Starlight Magic B stabs. That means she's a warp user. That means she's going to do. Yeah, that's pretty much. It's. I don't think it's ever explicitly stated that he's an Earth Dragon, but he's actually got the same sprite as FE3 Medius does. So he's an Earth Dragon. Uh, and obviously, the 12 gods that came at the Miracle of Darna to get the Crusaders their weapons were Divine Dragons, led by Naga. So... Very much... In this, uh... Universe, dragons are godlike entities that... Uh... Are very, very busted, but also are doomed to go insane unless they steal their power away. At the time here, uh, Loft here uh, has not gone, not properly gone insane. Uh, he's working on it, but he circumvents that by losing his physical body and in possessing the Emperor Gala, and then eventually, uh, Julius. So, 
Yeah. Uh, I think I actually... Since she can use stabs and Aura is just so good, I'm actually not going to worry about this guy. I'm going to let him attack Azel. Which is just more... More EXP for the pile of heals. And then we keep pushing forward. I don't need a whole lot more people here, though. Uh, Archers... Well, Lex is kind of mandatory. Finn is going to be useful again. And Jamf is going to be good. And if we can get Noish and Madeira through as well, that's not bad. We'll just kind of push up as with as many people as we can. And hope that this works. Now, I actually need Lex to get all the way out here for our secret event. Because he needs to become good. Yeah. I keep feeling like there's something intentional, or extra intentional, as to why uh, dragons... Uh, but Tiki has it sealed in Dragonstone, like uh, like Bantu. Uh, like he's not gone insane, even though he's a fire dragon. So I th I'm pretty sure that's the like canon reason why he's fine. Uh Spirit Force, please. Yeah. Uh, in Medieval Thought, like, forests were understood as obviously very dangerous places, but this is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, who's someone who I'm going to definitely not be using? Ah, none of these guys really are completely useless. Alex probably the least useful one. But yeah, I keep feeling like in the later games, I suspect that. Uh, okay, that's that's a fine level up. I would prefer magic, but I'll take that. I can't really help but feel like uh, Kaga at least is intending to actually say something with why the dragons are going insane. Uh, something, something, religion, something. Uh, I am not sure, and I do not feel any great need to, uh... Uh, go out and, uh, really try and... Huh. Yeah. That's a good point. Uh... Anyway, I'm not really feeling like speculating as to what the jo Kaga's mentality was in making the dragons both gods and gods that inevitably go crazy and try to murder everyone. Uh, yeah, it's still, if there's probably something there, but I'm not all that... Uh, Eager to go find speculation into understandings of religion and trying to read too far into Kaga's attitudes towards religion through evidence of a sh his game that is tr focused on different things. Yay, Spirit Forest track! Oh my god. I don't know who I give the money to. Ah oh yeah, I mean, asking him would be amaz an amazing opportunity. But, yeah, not, not exactly a likely occurrence. I don't speak Japanese, I have no intention of learning Japanese anytime soon. So I'm not exactly going to try and 
find out. Oof, negative 10 avoid. I see. But 20 might is pretty broken. So. She hits for 34 against resistance, which. Deirdre is very much a character that cares about one shotting and never getting attacked again. I mean, she's actually pretty good in the arena, as long as I can. She dodges the first attack, then she can just kind of rush the second. She'll kill anything, and then the second attack is irrelevant. Yay, 28 aura. Um. I think I don't actually need. Oh yeah, she's definitely not built for combat, uh, but she's serviceable. Like, I'm never gonna have complaints about literal nuclear missiles uh, coming in and trashing all of my enemies. Hmm. I think I'll actually return Dew, even though he's got a lot of... No, I want to give away the gold first, and then return him. Because then I can use the arenas in the next two... This chapter and chapter 2 to get do more gold to do more things. It's just who do I give the gold to? I guess Lex may, may be an okay choice because he'll need to repair the Brave Axe a lot. But so would like Madeir or someone. So that Madeir can just buy. Madeir and Jamka can always swap killer bows. Yeah, with Paragon, I mean, oh yeah, because he never needs Paragon Band, obviously. Yeah, so he's always fine. The arena won't be a problem, and also, he never needs to spend 40,000 gold on Paragon. So yeah, you're right, he doesn't need the gold, so I'll probably give it to Medir, so that he can be buying the Killer Bow. Oh yeah, or I could save it for Lachesis. That would also be a fine thing to do. Because he's got some gold, but he doesn't have a ton right now. He's got like 12,000. Yeah, he's got 12,000, so that's not a big, that's not such a big deal. So he's gonna go back to Evans. And there we go. Go in and then. And I Dean will want to. I'll send Aira back too, because Aira's. Aira's just not going to be useful in this area, I don't think. Well, maybe not. Maybe not yet. I will at the end, but I don't think she needs it. She necessarily needs to go away yet. Hey, staying into Saxony is good. Denmark would be proud of you, Leander. Uh, go, go enjoy uh, Secret Two. Okay, and uh, yeah, we are close to the end here. Uh, there's unfortunately there's just not a whole lot interesting to say here. It's just walk through woods, try not to get shot. Uh, cool. I am right on the edge of this guy's range, so Deirdre actually needs to walk forward to silence him. Really, you still can't. Ten spaces. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I see. So she has to be in the same spot as it, his range is. And Lex is gonna slowly suffer his way over. 
and he's going to Lex is going to reenact a actual just folk story right in front of our eyes, which is kind of cute. Uh, it's a nice little reference that the uh, giving the giving of a gift. Uh, it appears in the A Thousand One Nights. It also appears. Uh, I think somewhere in the Arthurian Corpus, but I don't remember exactly where. Where it happens that someone loses something that belongs to them, and then is offered by a fey spirit a silver and then a gold axe, and by refusing it, they're given some reward. That reward is very rarely another axe. Uh, that's not... Uh, Lex getting a brave axe off of this is not... is not the traditional ending, but usually uh, is rewarded with riches and power and other such fun things. Okay, so these guys are ranges there. So now we step forward with Deirdre. Nope, I screwed up. Uh, Deirdre is going to eat a dark magic shot now. Oh yeah, I mean, to be fair, this is a great gift for Lex and a great gift for gameplay, but yeah, also rip. Uh, luckily Deirdre's resistance is huge, and his attack is pretty crap. 32 versus 16, so Deirdre gets hit for a lot, but not nearly enough to be an issue. It is absolutely the best axe. Shame that no one can properly inherit it. Uh, obviously, I know it gets handed down to, like, was it Johan or Johalva, uh, but still rough that n no one can truly inherit that super awesome weapon. Okay. And yeah, Deirdre gets hit by, uh... Because I goofed up my menuing and hit staff, hit wait instead of staff, we get to see it in animation. I may turn on animations against him. I see, okay. It's just on a random, a random dude. Okay, good to know. Um, okay. Now, we're actually going to silence him this time. Oh yeah, leaning into the... Well, I mentioned that... Uh, there is definitely some links to uh, the uh, understandings of Christianity. It is also very much the case that this is a cult with very satanic imagery. And you can see that with the goat head uh, and pentagram on the Fenrir Tome. It's, it's a cult. It does cult things. Uh, that is generally bad news for everyone else involved. Thank you, Fen. You could have hit that. Hmm. Almost sacred and then uh, see if we can't hold ourselves out a bit. Hopefully, pretty much everyone will attack either Sigurd or Aira on the grounds that they don't like being countered. But I don't know that I can really count on that. Uh, Aira can only attack this guy, so I should have Aira do that first. And Dramco then gets a kill. Cool, he got a crit. It's our first crit of the game, everyone. No, that's not true. Noish has gotten a few. Uh, but it's one of our first crits of the game. Actually a pretty base level. Like, not going to complain about strength on my nuclear 
or my machine gun. And Medea gets hit, but leaves that guy low. And so Azel gets another kill. Hopefully Azel does okay. Nah, no, no, she's gotten a few, but that's our first one on the killer bow, uh, which is super cool. Innate crit is such a lovely thing in this game, and I'm so glad that, like, no enemies have it. Good. So everyone's good there. Next turn, Lex gets his first thing. And now we have just a bunch of archers to deal with. We are almost done with this stream. Uh, yep, he gets attacked. But he dodges, because he's good. And yeah, now everyone attacks Sigurd. We are fine. This is kind of explicitly the reason why I went brought uh, some not 1-2 range units. Because luckily, as long as they don't literally one-shot uh, Deirdre, they just won't attack her, because what's the point? Even though sh all of them together would easily kill her, uh, Fire Emblem AI is pretty easy to manipulate. And there's that. Let's do the event first. Uh, I do not have more examples of the folk story here, uh, but there's one where it's like, uh, it is usually a lumberjack. Ends up dropping his axe and then is offered a silver one and a gold one. He refuses both of them and in praise for his honesty, the face spirit gives him a lot of extra oomph. You said that, like, that one appears in Animal Crossing. It also appears in uh, one of the Legend of Zelda games. I believe it's a link to the past? Also, shoutouts to Queen Mania, who just randomly appears in this cutscene. They really didn't even bother pallet swapping her. Her. <laughs> So yeah, he loses the eye, or no, he gets the iron axe back, but he gets this. It's faster than all of the other axes by a lot, because it weighs six less than an iron axe. Same hit, more might, hits twice. It is one of the best, I'd even go so far as to say one of the best weapons in the game, not just one of the best axes in the game. It's obviously surpassed by brave weapons on everyone else. Uh, Brave Sword and the uh, Brave Lance are both even better, but it's a negative 8, speed 13, weight 18, negative 5. So it does not, does not double, but that's okay. We'll have Jamka do this. He got a crit. His killer bow seems to have woken up, because it was pretty slow there for a bit, but we are better now. Hopefully Aira gets this kill, but if not, it's no big deal, because that's a free one for Deirdre. It's a completely free kill for Deirdre then. With 98 hits, that's... Oh! Ha! <laughs> Lovercrit! That's something that has not happened yet. If you are standing next to someone that you are married to in this game, there's a chance that you will be inspired and will just crit them. Which is awesome. Grants Miracle and Renewal. God, it's such a good... Now. We keep going here, um... The deer does not get hit, which is awesome news. And oh, I just lost. Apologies, everyone. I just lost access to. Uh, yo, uh, 
Uh, I just lost my uh, headphones, so things are currently uh, struggling. This is no good. Um, the thing appears to have frozen. Uh, I don't know why that broke my game, to be honest. But it seems to only be progressing a single frame at a time, so we'll actually have to reset this or uh, redo that turn. Not a huge deal. No, uh, it's fine. We are totally fine. We are back on the previous turn, so we've just got to redo a couple of things here. Uh, unfortunately, for some reason, when my headphones die, and so my microphone dies, uh, instead of everything working normally, it uh, decides that that means that it needs to uh, freeze pretty much all applications, especially SNES 9X just does not does not like when my headphones die, which is incredibly weird. Uh, I cannot explain it, but we didn't lose any progress, so we're just redoing this little bit, and we will be done. Meanwhile, uh. Since we're getting close to fighting Sandama, our first Dark Mage, we can talk about uh, some of the shenanigans of Dark Magic, and with the Lotarian Church uh, being having some structural similarities to the Christian Church, but itself more or less being a cult. You can see that with the uh, devilish imagery that is present on the uh, Fenrir tome. We saw that when Deirdre got attacked, which was accidental, but a very welcome bit of something to talk about. So, it is basically a, a satanic cult. Loki is very closely associated with Satan, or Lotir is very closely associated with Satan being a dark god. And so, it is... It certainly makes sense that this is something that is uh, brought into the forefront in this imagery. And then they're kidnapping, they're child fronts, they're war massacres, the sacrifice of people, it's all very devil worship y. That does not necessarily follow, though, that that is a, uh, the most just. Point of comparison, either to uh, cult, cult worship in the technical sense, or to that it is uh, I don't know what I'm going about. Apologies. I got started talking and then try try to figure out where I was going to end up with halfway through it. That did not happen, so. Uh, Instead, we're just going to get another uh, lever cut here, and we want silver swords to shoot kills. And we'll push up so we can kill Sandama quickly. Still, uh, there is a lot of conception here of the uh, goat, pentagram, uh, kind of Krampus-like imagery of devil worship. Now, Satan... Devil worship in that sense ties into a popular imagining of uh, their secretly in the church being this evil force that is doing all sorts of terrible things. Uh, and certainly uh, some priests in the Middle Ages were accused of this, uh, demonic magic uh, as magic in the technical sense always was. Uh, he is a very real accusation for, in the Middle Ages and something that people took Quite seriously. However, the uh, large scale organized practice of secret demon, demon worship is just not, not a real thing. Hmm. I'd, like to, I'd like if he could get. Nope. Cannot make it, so I think we'll have to do that next time. Put another level, which will be good. 
uh, yeah, demons and such. This whole cult, like large-scale underground cult, that's the Christian Church is secretly evil and worship devils and has these weird witch witchcraft things. Or alternatively, that there's this wide-scale, uh, any sort of folk activity must also be secretly demons, and the church is the bastion against it, uh, kind of bit like the exorcist, kind of vain. Both of these are just not something that is ever attested in the historical record. The belief in it is, but the thing itself is not. And it does a lot of harm, inevitably. Uh, to think of it in these terms. Uh, let me turn back on animations. And Deirdre- I might try and give Deirdre the kill if she has a chance- nah. I don't think she has a chance, so I'll actually just return her as soon as I can. And with that, one, two, one, yeah. So I'll return her so she can do the arena, and then once she does the arena, and once, uh, if I can get Finn to beat one more level of the arena, we will call this a stream with the capture of this castle. First things first. Kill off Sandemo. Silver Sword is so good, and yeah. So this spooky looking druid uh, dies, the cult has been beaten, right? <laughs> Sigurd continues to impress. Uh, the magic ring is completely useless on Sigurd. Uh, it's going to go to Azel in the end. But Azel is not likely to ever kill Sandima, so rather than worry about that, we just do what we need it to do. And move on. <laughs> uh huh! Magic Ring Sigurd! Also, I was about to run out of time on the uh, silence, and rather than. Ooh! Light Brian Sigurd is spicy! She got magic! I'm impressed! So we're just going to spend some time working with basically everyone now. Uh, just some very fast turns. You've not done any arena yet, so you should also get over here. And way over here in Evans, way up on the top of the map. Should look into... Finn. Taking on the arena. Again. Nope. Definitely not that weapon. Jesus, that's so many kills. I, I've never really uh, felt super comfortable with giving uh, giving away the life brand from Ethlyn because Leaf inevitably uh, kind of carries my chapter 7. And uh, without that light branch, he does so much less damage, unless if you can give him some other good weapon. And I know, like, theoretically, you could just... Like, Finn and Nana can kind of carry that with their Earth Sword shenanigans, but... Huh. Dang, he almost made it. Let's see if I can just fast forward through this. Really? That's not a bad shout. There we go. Only need two hits. Just a lot of bad RNG in the way. <laughs> that works pretty well too. Uh, but then you don't have the Armor Slayer. I uh, don't know how to feel about losing the Armor Slayer for like chapter... For... No, I guess there's not a whole lot of... Not a whole lot of knights to... Or armor knights to worry about after chapter 3. Huh. That's not a bad idea. And then clears the arena, which is huge. Cause yeah, I was trying to think of like, the end of chapter 5 is probably scary without the armor slayer. 
uh, like Beowulf just becomes completely useless uh, at the very end of chapter 5, but at the same time you've got plenty of mages then, so it's not... And you've got the light brand for a magic sword chip, so... Eh. Probably not as bad as I was thinking it was. Anyway, we are going to try and basically just be one one thing in the arena here. Dude. He's not going to beat anything else, realistically. Uh, I might have him fight. This guy, just in game. Hey, he got sold. That means he can take another hit. And he still lost. Ta-da! I'm not even gonna bother trying. Uh, now, where is my jump to castle? There it is. And yeah, that's pretty much... That's pretty much it for this chapter. And so that's gonna be pretty much it for this stream. We're just gonna do some wrapping up things here. Keep chatting, uh, keep... Thanks, we got... What on earth is going on? Uh, she keeps getting strength. She keeps being bad. Uh, this is one of the worst Athlans I've ever seen. Like, my Athlan does not normally turn out this absolute garbo. Hmm. And I know I'm dropping frames again, which means it's probably time that we call it a day. My bet rate is looking a bit. Shake. It's a little bit more here. Isn't this is another part of Epic Four I don't super like? Uh, just on the base of it. Almost one shots. Jesus. Uh, but it's just so. So slow to do all the arena management, which it's not strictly speaking necessary, I know, but at the same time, it does a lot of good. Uh, to do this and to try and go through it. So I always feel the need to try and do at least some extent of arena management, but, oh. Okay, yeah, she's not gonna make it past this guy. She'd have to, I don't know, if she heals up luckily, uh, then maybe she'll be okay. But, I'm not, I'm not thinking that's likely. We'll see if he gets very lucky, and if not, I don't know. Yep. No worry, and we just need to end up preparing this, because it's pretty well. And then we move on. Do does nothing. If she gets she if she gets close, uh she was left at eleven, so got hit for what, seventeen? Uh so if she happens to get to eighteen before we're done eighteen HP before we're done, we will definitely do some shenanigans, but I wouldn't count on it. Hey, turn it Jamka. Jamka should easily beat the arena. Uh, there's not a whole lot of reason for him not to. I know, yeah, all of this warping. She'll probably warp one more time and then we will seize after that. Juan cleared the arena, as well as fine jump. Good to do, killer bow continues to be good. That's good. Congratulations. Saved me some trouble. I didn't realize all of Ethan's growths were that bad, actually. Does Minor Bowler Blood really offer just nothing good except HP? Ooh, 
And yeah, I think I've said basically everything interesting I wanted to say. Unfortunately, um, I mean this game is such a good level. Uh, everything he possibly cares about. This game is still, apart from these like super slow sections, still manages to interplay its history and folklore and understandings of medieval epic. Okay. It managed to interplay all of those super well. And yet, uh, kind of inevitably, there are tedious sections, there are sections that are not very fun to play. Cool. Luckily we can just we can just abuse through this very very easily. Assuming that these 50 cents stop hitting. <laughs> Fun and engaging gameplay. Uh, there we go. Just need to wait for a crit. Same way as noise gets pretty close to the end, you can always just wait for a crit. And he's got a steel bow, but the uh, machine gun continues to work. Cool, so Jamco clears the arena, he needs to repair the... Actually, he probably won't repair the bow this chapter, but we'll, we'll see if he needs to... Yeah, I won't repair it yet. Tank, I hate Great Shield. Great Shield is actually really annoying. Um, anyway. Uh, Martha Brigham. So yeah, we will warp once more and then we will be done. So... We be chapter one! It only took us four hours. Uh, that's gonna be the. F I think going forward, obviously, we'll have to. What the hell is that level? Um, going forward, we will have to start splitting the chapters up into two because they will take too long for single streams. But we will do our best here. We will see how we're feeling on any. Uh, on any of these individual streams as to what goes on here. Uh, I, as I mentioned, am still on a vacation, so the my normal schedule is Wednesdays and Saturdays uh, in the evenings European time. That schedule will not hold this week, so make sure you follow me on Twitter uh, or follow me here on Twitch in order to be notified when I'm next going to be going live. I will try to get one in uh, sometime this week if I have time, but I can make no promises. So yeah, here we get some more, more lore. The will of the dark please turn on the game. I love it. Cloning the cult is probably the best description, so yeah. Sigurd, now, being the perfect good knight, doing a perfectly honorable thing, rescuing the damsel in distress, has managed to kill off the entire royal family of the kingdom except one. Good job, Sigurd. You continue to be manipulated far too easily. Alright. Have a good night, everyone. And yeah, bye-bye.